everyone, Jane's Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I'm coming to you brave. A brave, brave, brave soul is here in front of you folks. I'm gonna do this video without my breastplate because I ran out of Fashion Nova dresses to wear so I have to recycle stuff from three years ago now. It's so trash. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have a very special video for you folks today. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I was walking along the street with my doggy, and I stumbled upon this in the gutter. I actually can show you the videos, and it's actually a lot better. Here, let me tell the story for you visually. There is a wig here in the gutter, and I'm thinking, should I grab it and style it? So, yeah, I totally grabbed that wig. I am going to transform it for you all. It was rotted and gutted and it was in the gutter and ignore that dog poop bag i was walking my dog while i was doing this so yeah i'm gonna wash this wig out now girl i was handling this wig like it was toxic waste so i threw it inside of a walmart bag and i'm gonna do this in the sink in my apartment building's laundry room because i'm not doing that in my sink girl no what we're not gonna do and i just dunked it into a bucket of shampoo water and um what the hell else did i put in there oh yeah silicone shampoo as well shampoo and silicone shampoo to add some like luster back to it really really dusty and gross so yeah so i just swished that around in there and i did it a couple different times and then i rinsed it and girl when i rinsed it the darndest thing started to happen red dye started to come off of the wig i don't know what they did this wig beforehand maybe it was a chucky wig but they used red dye on it and it was all getting everywhere so i'm glad i didn't do it in my own sink <laughs> don't tell my super all right i'll be right back and we'll transform this wig Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, what an amazing story. Oh my God. I might win an Emmy for like documentary filmmaking or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, needless to say, I did clean the wig up as I showed you. And this is the final result. It smells like shampoo and Lysol, which is usually how I smell anyway. So this is our wig. <laughs> it is from Viva. Viva Wigs, Kanakalon, made in J oh, no, it's a Japan origin but it's made in Korea. Yes, 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 from the Rhapsody collection. But I don't think, you know, the Rhapsody collection you can find on wigs.com. I think it's a different Rhapsody. Yes, he said Bohemian Rhapsody, maybe. Especially if it's in the gutter. <laughs> but this is our wig. It is a funky, funky hairstyle. Well, actually, let's try this on. I'm gonna be brave and try this on. I'll be right <laughs> back. Hi, I'm Raquel Welch. This is Fire in color N64, 17.5, 84H21678092746969. Shade Smoked Biscuit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel interesting right now. I was a little taken aback by how much I look like Raquel Welch in this hair. I look like her in Legally Blonde when she's taking the stand. Haven't you seen the cabana boy? That farmer's tan though. I love it. Okay, well, this is definitely, you know caked up after I shampooed it. It hasn't really separated. So I think you're supposed to like finger, you know, style it and you get something out of it. Yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure this hair was on top of a pumpkin or something. <laughs> but this is our hair. Let's transform it. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I am back. This is the hair all on the head and she is definitely an old lady party wig. She kind of looks like Beverly from Rana and Beverly. Let me just see. Here you go. Complete the look right there. There. <laughs> It's Beverly Ginsburg. <laughs> anyways, anyways, okay, okay. Let's get to styling it. I already hit pinned down the head. Let's see what we can do with the top. Okay. There is not a whole lot of hair up top, I see. So that's fine. This is fine. There's more, more in the back. What we can do here is actually we're gonna add some hair to this. Yes. I have these bundles of hair from Yuhua that she gave me in a, like that box I bought from her. Don't listen to her. She I paid for that box of wigs. <laughs> So I had these just laying around and I don't know what the hell I was going to do with these bundles, but thankfully they kind of match. So we're going to add a bit more hair up top so we can make a bigger style because if I were to just style it, you wouldn't get much out of it. It'd just be like a flat, you know, bowl. We're going to add these bundles to it. I hate these rubber bands. I feel like I'm going to cut the hair. <sighs> okay, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to section off where this little skin cap on the wig ends. It has a skin cap on it. So I'm going to section off where the skin cap ends and the hair tracks begin. I have to say, looking at it, the wig actually isn't bad. Like they must have bought it from like a quality costume shop. Cause from what I'm seeing, it's actually pretty good. So I grab some of this. And yes, I know the brutes are a little, not the same color, but that's fine. It's the ends that matter, okay? And we're gonna tease all that down so you won't even see it. It's just gonna add depth, shadow even. <laughs> you know, 
lights and shadows inside of a wig. It's like we're doing, you know, sketching an art class. Okay, just take a bundle out and measure it along the head to add. Okay, so I need to add hair here. So that's about that. Clip it. And looking at it, I feel like I only need like about three or four tracks. So I'm just gonna measure along the same lines. I just need to add hair up top. So do that again. About there. And this is gonna be a costume wig, so it does not have to be perfect. If you're gonna do this for like yourself in like you know reality, you probably wanna be a little more cautious, but I throw caution to the wind on this channel. <laughs> Yeah, looking at that, that should give me enough hair to work with. I'm gonna have to clip some of the hair too. I'm gonna tease this down first. That way I can disguise it with the rest of the hair. Let's start sewing it. I'm gonna grab a curved needle, like so. You can get these at like Sally's and stuff. And I have some floss. This stuff is what they recommend you use for like hair extensions and stuff. Although if you really are in a tight fix, you could probably get away with using like a really strong, you know, sewing needle. But Sally's usually will carry it. And I'll do a couple stitches for you. I've done this a couple times on camera, but it helps just to reiterate things, you know? And I do like a whip stitch. <laughs> and that's the one thing I hate about these needles. You'll constantly break thread on them. Sewing. It's like we're doing crafts. This can go on my sewing playlist too. Oh my God. And with this, you don't have to be too careful about like making sure it pierces the track or anything. You just wanna make sure it's like bound down to it. Especially since I'm gonna be teasing it and stuff. It's not like a hair extension where I have to worry about like keeping it pristine. This is all gonna get matted down just to create volume. All right, I got a few stitches in. That's how it should start looking. Just adding hair to it. I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I am back. Now it is time to start styling the wig. I sewed in three tracks up top on the crown because that's where it needed the most hair so I can actually do something with this hairstyle. So let me just start by teasing those down. I'm gonna try and tease away that black as much as possible. I packed it all the way down to the bottom of the wig. So you're not even gonna see it by the time I'm done. I'm just enjoying this section of hair while I have it because I know it's probably gonna be the easiest bit of hair to style down because it's the newest. I honestly hope I don't get any kind of like, you know, I, I really honestly hope this wig doesn't come back to haunt me. I posted it on social media, like on Facebook and everything. And everyone was saying about how, like, tell me these horror stories about how they have friends that like found wigs in the gutter and they ended up getting like head lice and stuff out of it. <laughs> so hopefully that's not the case today. We have some volume up top now to work with. Loves it. I'm probably gonna be the haircut as well, but we're gonna get it to that when we can, all right? Let's start with the rest of the wig. Let's see what hairstyle this wig was intended to be. Good Lord. Cut all weird, like somebody, whoever had a hold of it, took a scissors to it and just had a really bad haircut to it. Not a bad hair day, but the worst hair day, good lord. Teasing this is considerable amount of work and it's partly because of the fabric softener that's in the wig that's just like giving me a <sighs> So I'm gonna tease the rest of it and come back and style it and we'll have some more conversations, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back and she is looking very 1980s. She kind of looks like Steve from Stranger Things. <laughs> like very overly manicured hair. Like as I start to like go through the back, like it's totally 1980s are back, y'all. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim some of the length here up top because it's way too long. And we're gonna try and get some kind of a style out of this. But I feel like this hair is already telling me where it wants to go. It is living on a prayer at this moment. <laughs> I have to say, that Steve from Stranger Things with that hair, I don't know what it is, he was so cute. Also the Darcy Montgomery with that weird mullet. I don't know what it is, like by modern standards, it shouldn't be okay, but I can let a mullet slide here and there. Oh, or um, Brian Pillman Jr. You folks who probably watch my videos don't know who that is, but look up AEW's Brian Pillman Jr. Ugh, oh, the most beautiful man with the mullet you've ever seen, my God. Okay, oh, that actually helped a lot. Look at that height, yes. Let's just go in with our pick, the 1980s power hairstyling tool. Yes, the most important tool in any 1980 girl's arsenal was the hair pick, because you can just pack down volume with it. We are giving you some Sheena Easton and strut right now. All right, let's see what we can do with these bangs though, because I don't feel like doing a rooted hairline. That's too much work. This wig isn't worth the trouble of a rooted hairline. Bitch, okay, we're <laughs> having too much fun. Here we go. Start picking down the bangs. Oh, y'all ain't ready. Yes. Okay. We are creating a moment right now, folks. 
we are taking ourselves back to 1984. It is MTV. What's her face? Martha Quinn. She is hosting, you know, a top 20 countdown. Martha Quinn, was she related to Colin Quinn? Sound off down below. I'm not sure. Does anyone know who Colin Quinn is anymore? <laughs> It's like Andrew Dice Clay. Let's leave those in the 80s, folks. This is getting obnoxiously high considering how little hair I actually put into it. <laughs> I only use three tracks. And with the help of just teasing, it's looking really, really full. Okay, now when I washed this wig, all sorts of red came out of it. So I'm trying to figure out what costume were they going for with this? I'm guessing maybe Chucky from Child's Play. I'm curious, or maybe it was decorating a pumpkin, but it was just covered in leaves. And I found a couple leaves as I was styling it, so. <laughs> I should really go back to that neighborhood where I found the wig and just put up a sign that says, wig found and styled. It's actually rocking pretty hard right now. <laughs> okay. Give it all that hairspray it could use in the back too. Start packing it with your fingers. She is looking pretty stunting so far. I'm rocking pretty hard with this. <laughs> All right, let's see. I had this red hairspray that I bought during Halloween season. I got this at Party City. So let's see what it's like, because we're going to rock this up right now. Let's rock out. Ooh. OK. That's actually making it look really good. It looked like Julie Brown. This is kind of how it looked like when I found it anyway, too. They had like red dye all over it. So really we're restoring it back to the state it wanted to be in, giving it a henna rinse. I wonder if women used to do this to their hair back in the day. I remember seeing like one from the fifties of like vintage hair extensions and they'd have like rooted hairlines that they could put on like little swatches of purple and pinks in their hair for like a burst of color like the early, early days of hair extensions. This smells like crap though, I'll say that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look who's ready for the Video Music Awards, oh my God. All right, let's just spray it with some hairspray and not stand too close to an open flame. I kind of want to put glitter in it now that it's like nice and wet. I'm gonna put glitter in it. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get glitter. All right, I am back. I am going to use Trixie Cosmetics. This one is called Grant. Oh, that's, that's not 29 grams, 2.9 grams. That's how much is in it. It is called 1969. <laughs> okay, so let's take a little bit of that. I'm gonna open it up like that and just start sprinkling in little bits of glitter. I could probably take it off the head to do this too. Yeah. Perfect. That's adding a nice little added bit of glam to the hair. <laughs> it's also getting all over my carpet. I'll never get that out, but that's fine because this is a sacrifice I make to be a drag queen hairstylist extraordinaire on YouTube. Now I'm gonna lock it in with hairspray. And while I'm at, since I'm using Trixie Cosmetics glitter, why not use pink slip that she just sent me in the mail? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. We have glitter in our hair now, and she is a henna red. This is a wig I transformed from the gutter. <laughs> and now she looks like she's ready to walk the streets. So I'm gonna pop this on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh my God. So when I was styling this on the wig head, I thought, oh my God, I am serving like Martha Quinn, 1980s bad girl tease and I put it on and I'm fully just serving you a Latina tia. I put this on and honestly, just my DNA turned me into a tia, okay? Like, girl, I look like I'll f you up, girl. Seriously, like, don't you come in my house with those shoes on. I actually am kind of living. <laughs> I don't know what it is about me. Like, I just turned it into tia immediately. I'm just an auntie. Ugh, seriously though, I kind of actually love it. This wig I found randomly on the street definitely transformed into something I actually probably wear again, not gonna lie. Don't be surprised you see me wearing this wig, styling another wig. Little orphan Annie after her stimulus check. Sherry Lewis and Land Shop looking ass. This wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this hair a spritz. And it honestly needs it because this stuff smells like 
It is so horrible. I'm dying right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixacnelab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code James20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. Ooh. And now I would like to take a moment, a Venmo, where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. And I also have a couple PayPal amounties. Ooh. I would like to thank. You just open up. Let's see if it recognizes my face. It worked. Oh my God. It like put the fear of God in my phone. It's like, uh-uh. I ain't getting my ass whooped by you. I would like to thank James, Julie, Christopher, Lee, Kelly, Forrest, and Ke Oh, that's Sylvia. Sylvia gets no thanks. Thank Susan for the PayPal money. As well as Jaden. Thank you, Jaden, for the PayPal money. And Taika. Thank you so much. And if you're in desperate need of quality, beautiful wigs, why not get something from James Mansfield Beauty? Like this gorgeous styled wig right here. <laughs> oh my God, thank you guys so much for the PayPal monies and the Venmos. Your support truly goes towards making this channel great. Yes, yes, yes. It bought this red hairspray that I'm currently choking down on. <laughs> you're welcome. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch me style some Bellamy hair that I bought on sale. Girl, I made a killing there. Or see me style up some spooky party city wigs. Girl, they are terrifying. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make you do line readings with Adam Driver. So click it.